always hope that he doesn't look very good <laughs> when he walks in the door. I'd like to think that he's having sleepless nights and um, that he's at least half as miserable as I am. That's the mother of Kelsey Schelling. Kelsey Schelling was a, a young pregnant woman who disappeared and now her boyfriend charged in her murder. And the trial is getting ready to happen here. Uh, it's another one of those cases we are tracking here on Court TV. And uh, let's give you a little more information as we take a look at this case that has taken seven years to get to this point. So. going through our fifth holiday season without Kelsey and her baby. And I can't tell you what torture that is. It's been a rough week. It's a lot packed into a lot packed into a short period of time. I was just desperate for something to try and help keep her name alive. I can't even imagine how, you know, difficult the trial is going to be. Those are the pained words of a woman who has been through a lot in the last seven years. Her name is Laura Saxton, and there are two things that she wants. One, to find her missing daughter, Kelsey, and two, justice for the man she believes is responsible for her daughter's murder. The story begins in 2010 on the campus of Northeastern Junior College in Sterling, Colorado. 19-year-old Kelsey Schelling is a freshman who meets and starts dating the star of the basketball team, six foot seven inch Dante Lucas. Kelsey ultimately leaves school and starts working in Denver, but her relationship with Dante continues. Then in early 2013, a huge development. On February 4th, Kelsey has an ultrasound at a prenatal appointment, confirming that she is eight weeks pregnant. Dante is the father. That night after work, Kelsey gets into her Chevy Cruze and heads off to see Dante in Pueblo two hours away. After Kelsey arrives, this seemingly happy love story ends and a mystery begins. The Shelling Saxton family offering $100,000 this month to whoever can help bring Kelsey home. After making that ride to Pueblo to see her boyfriend, Kelsey was never seen or heard from again. But an agent from the Colorado Bureau of Investigation has a very specific theory about what happened. He believes Dante Lucas lured Kelsey down to Pueblo after finding out she was pregnant and murdered her by strangulation. While they may have a theory, what investigators don't have is a lot of physical evidence. Today, the defense said there is not a shred of physical evidence suggesting that Dante Lucas commit this murder or that Kelsey Schelling is in fact deceased. The reason the defense says there is no evidence she is deceased is because Kelsey's body has never been found. There have been searches all around Pueblo, search teams on foot, on horseback. They even used heavy machinery to dig up the yard at Dante's former home. But still, to this day, Kelsey remains missing. So what evidence do they have? They have surveillance video of Kelsey's Chevy Cruze at the Walmart parking lot in Pueblo with Dante Lucas exiting the car. Then 18 hours later, another video of someone walking towards the Chevy and driving it away. But in both videos, no sign of Kelsey. They also have cell phone records. And cell phone data showing both of their locations based on cell phone towers. It proved there was never a time when Lucas and Kelsey's phones were not overlapping in the same cell phone areas. And what may be most compelling are the four hours where Dante's phone and Kelsey's phone both go silent. How far? Could she have been driven away from Pueblo in a four hour period? You know, um, that's always in the back of my mind as far as that quiet time where there was no cell phone activity, no pings being recorded. Um, four hours is a long time. Then there are text messages between Kelsey and Dante and text messages between Dante and his mother a day after Kelsey went missing. 
Lucas texted his mom saying, I'm going to make sure she didn't leave anything in the house. His mother texts back asking if he's okay. He responds by telling her yes and that he's 100% positive she's not pregnant. She then asks if Lucas is ready for a smoke and a pancake, to which he replies, hell yeah, LOL, let me get her out of here. Like any case, there are two sides. Dante did speak with investigators. He said they were together that night, but Kelsey left him at the Walmart parking lot after they got into an argument. Dante also spoke with Dan Corsentino, former Pueblo sheriff who works for Kelsey's family as a private investigator. He actually broke down in my office and cried for a period of time, but we couldn't close that case out. So there is no confession, but there is another suspect, at least according to the defense, who filed court documents indicating they may be pointing the finger at Kelsey's father, Douglas, who they claim has a history of being violent towards Kelsey including going to her room and choking her. Ultimately, it'll be up to a Colorado jury to figure out who, if anyone, is responsible for the disappearance of Kelsey. In the meantime, her mother continues her search for justice and her search for the daughter she misses every day. And that trial originally scheduled for this spring. We'll keep an eye on it for you and let you know uh, when that case will be heard. But again, it's been seven long years for Kelsey's mom. And still, Kelsey has never been found.